We're going to compare the Wi-Fi behavior on Android and iPhone with Easy Wi-Fi installed on both platforms. To simulate walking into range of a hotspot, we're going to switch the Wi-Fi on on each platform in turn and see what happens. Starting with Android, we'll switch the Wi-Fi on, give it a second or two to scan for networks, and here you'll see it's selected our font hotspot. Font hotspots have login pages, so there's a web portal where you type your username and password. You'll see we connected here, and the icon in the top left corner is went from grey to red, indicating that we're online. Switch over to the browser, refresh the Yahoo page, and you'll see that the Yahoo page loads. We don't see the font login screen. So essentially, no user would ever see the login. Now let's do the same thing with the iPhone. Switch the Wi-Fi on, wait for it to scan, and select the network. In this case, it's going to pick the phone network because we've used it before. Our user connecting for the first time would have to do that step manually. Fire up our browser, and hit refresh, and instead of seeing the Yahoo page load, what we're seeing is the phone login screen. Even though Easy Wi-Fi was installed on this phone, since it isn't able to run either in the background all the time or be triggered by a Wi-Fi connection, the user has to actually manually launch Easy Wi-Fi, wait for the app to load, wait for the login to complete, and then as soon as they see the LED go green, close the app, switch back to the app they wanted to launch, in this case the browser, and go back, find the Yahoo page, and load it. And now we'll see, because Easy Wi-Fi logged in, that the Yahoo page loads successfully. So overall, the user experience is completely different on the two platforms. In the Android case, the Easy Wi-Fi app is able to select the correct network, connect the user, and authenticate them if needed, without them even knowing anything about Wi-Fi. In the iPhone case, although Easy Wi-Fi is capable of authenticating them automatically, the user must do the network selection, and even worse, the user must remember to fire up the app before they can get on with doing what they wanted to do.